Hey y'all, Jess with Kotech Time here. I'm gonna try and talk a little bit louder today because I do have my turners going. Um, and we're gonna talk about a couple things before I get into, I will be making two cups for you guys today. Um, but let's just talk about uh, ready to sell cups. A majority of my business is ready to sell tumblers. And when I make my ready to sell tumblers, I usually make two. I usually have them in a variety of sizes and styles and I make two. Then if one sells, I have a backup. If somebody doesn't prefer the size of one, maybe they'll like the size of the other. So if you are in the ready to sell business of tumblers, um, it's a great little idea, I think, to have multiple options for your customer. Um, the template cups, if I make one, I usually am making a second one at the same time. Um, again, if this one sells right away, I already have a backup. Um, sunflowers are huge. There's going to be times when you make some and you're not 100% sure if it's going to be a seller or not, but stick with your gut, trust your art, trust what you're working on, and nine times out of ten, you're going to be fine. Even when I work on my 3D or toppers, Three different, same cup, couple, you know, pretty much the same toppers, but this one's different. Um, but I just did each cup a little bit different in the way that I painted it, the coloring that I gave it. So this is wood green. This is just the terracotta that's going to be a little bit um, like patinaed. And then this is the terracotta just distressed. So have options for your customers. Um, and then if one sells, great keep moving on. If you have one that seems to be more popular, make more of that one. Love doing things in multiples. Um, as you guys know, the double-sided adhesive is something that I absolutely love. It's something that kind of started me making videos for you guys. Um, and I did find uh, another style. It's scrapbook.com. It is basically the same thing as the Elizabeth Craft design sheets that I originally started with. So these, um, they have the same thickness, the material wraps the same. Um, virtually, I don't know if they just have a different label on the front. Price is better and they have it in stock. So that is what I have. And I did order more before I'm posting this video because if you guys sell it out, <laughs> I need to make sure that I have some. Um, so what I have here is two stainless steel cups. These are sanded, but not prepped with any kind of paint. And like I said, when you are doing ready to sell, it is just, it's going to save your life. If you just go on ahead and make two, you're already making one. You might as well have another backup ready for you. I do use, um, maker flow tumblers. I like the display of them. Um, when I do go to any kind of the shows or anything like that, I don't have to take this tumbler out of the box if I don't want to. Um, so that's super beneficial. It's a main reason why I use their tumblers. Um, they've been great. I am I'm not an affiliate. I'm not sponsored by any product that I ever show. Um, I'm not that big of a deal. So um, for this tumbler, I am going to be using the Glitter Guys um, glitter. I know on most of my other videos, I never have been using um, fancy glitter. I've been using glitter that's been picked up at, um, you know, local craft stores. And the Glitter Guy was having a huge sale, and I jumped on that bandwagon and I picked me up a selection of colors that were um, very cost effective for me and that I thought they were beautiful and so far I will say this glitter is gorgeous um, the coverage is amazing there is something to be said about using um, you know these glitters versus the ones in your craft stores while I you will still see me going back and using stuff from the craft stores just because if I'm a I want it now type of gal so um, Another thing about uh, Makerflow that I probably should have brought up while I was still talking about them, um, every tumbler that I get from them comes with a card. 
already made. So I don't have to make these. It comes in the box. You can order extras. Um, I do order extras because if there's a certain cup that I can't get from them and I order from um, Stainless Steel Depot or whoever I order from, I want to have backups of these. And I made a QR code. It was free to make. I can't track who's scanning it. I can't track any of that information. I don't need to. But if a customer gets this cup, all they have to do is scan this. And they have direct access to my Facebook marketplace. Um, not marketplace, my Facebook shop. Um, so it's a great way to, hey, tell me about your business, scan this, that's where I got the cup. They can continue to follow me based off of that inside there. So let's get on to doing these glittering of these two cups because you don't want to hear me chat the whole time. Um, this is a template that I did purchase off Etsy. Um, I loved kind of the um, almost simplicity to it and it just kind of, I just imagined like a very uh, regal looking cup. Um, so I will put in the link the actual um, Etsy site that I purchased this template for. And um, yeah, so we're just going to get going. And usually I'm going to stick with one glitter color. So I'll be doing both at the same time. You guys know that I don't edit my videos in the form of actually speeding things up for you guys so feel free at whatever point in this venture to go on ahead and speed this guy up if you need to. This is my first time dealing with this template so um, we will see how this one shakes out. Um, I'm right here on my seam to start with and first thing I will say just off the, the jump is that the cuts aren't as great as I'm used to dealing with. Um, don't know if it's the template. I know it's not the paper um, because I've just completed um, two really awesome cups using this adhesive. So that's my seam. And we just have a big V, kind of a V, that I just pulled off. Um, as per usual, I'm going to be doing my darkest colors first. I think I say that wrong on like 90% of these videos. I'm always like light to dark. No, dark to light. It's what I, it's how I do it. I don't know why I screw up when I say it. So I pull the area. Pop out the glitter. I did not um, put together like exactly the vision as far as um, what colors I was putting where on this guy. It's my first time using this template. So hopefully it comes out nice. We'll see. Please be pretty. You know, please be pretty. So that is one V. Where's my brush? Okay. First color I grabbed from the glitter guy is Blue Barracuda. Um, I used it on the cup that I showed and posted the other day and I'm a fan. It comes in their, um, their patriotic pack, I think it's called, like their flag pack. Um, and I absolutely love it. So, if I'm looking at this bad boy correctly, it looks like if I do the V the opposite way, we will get kind of an exact match. Maybe, maybe not, maybe I just pulled the wrong one, hold on. Stand by, folks. Let's see. I'm going to push this guy back down. I grabbed the wrong one. However, it's a great time for a teaching moment. So with double-sided adhesive, if you do pull the wrong area, you can get it to go back down. Now I'm questioning my abilities here. And when you 
cut this one. It's got a little tail of this. So we're going to pull this guy up as well. There's the other V. And I know I, at some point, I don't know if I just need to WD-40 my turners, um, or what. I know it's loud. I'd like to feel like I'm not the only one with a very loud turner. Maybe I am. I built mine myself. I, um, I just ordered the pieces and used the template from my very first one that my husband built me and decided she would buff. going to be the first one. I'm going to grab my other cup and let's see if I can pull the right area. And I have this template so I've never purchased it from this um, seller before and it's a it's gonna be gorgeous I will say that my lines um, don't appear to all be touching a hundred percent so you can come back in with an exacto and just nick those I'm just kind of bumping them with my tool to cut it so it's not pulling off more than I want it to so we're gonna pull that area and Pull the next one, that way we only have to throw down one deal of glitter. At this point, you guys, feel free, fast forward. You're not going to hurt my feelings. The colors I'm doing are pretty fall related. Um, obviously we're at the end of, well, it's not even August yet, but we're at the tail end of the summer and in all these worlds, I mean, doesn't matter what you're doing, everybody's getting ready for the next season, whether that be, you know, a little bit of back to school, um, straight into Halloween, fall, and so on. So I'm just going to move my paper aside to save time. I will go back in later and get some excess glitter off. I think I'll go ahead and do Anchorman next. Why not? Um,
I'm using fairly um, dark glitters for this um, because it is kind of fall themed. So I'm not 100% worried about that um, seam line that you see when you do use the double-sided adhesive. But if it's something that you, um, you are concerned about, you definitely could, um, you know, use electrical tape along the seam. Also, if you get it in the seam, just scrape it off a little. Get it off there. All right, Anchorman. I do not um, seal in between my glitter colors. Some that have um, started using this method may. It's personal preference. When you do dark glitters, you don't so much have to go off of a white painted base. For those of you guys that are also on TikTok, um, I, I am on TikTok as well. I do post, most of my videos are cup related, some are just life related. Um, those of you who have been on TikTok, uh, in Facebook groups, I'm sure you've seen it as well. Um, we've got uh, Rachel with the Creative Siren who was making a tumbler for Archon mounts in a competition. Um, so it was a cup made for that company. And um, she posted the video and the vice president who as of today has apparently been fired or no longer with the company, which I don't know how that works when you are part of a co-ownership. I believe he's a co-owner, so he might not be titled as the VP, but I'm sure he's still going to be getting some funds. Um, when you're a co-owner of something, they're just going to take a space off there. Anyways, he was um, gross, disgusting, um, very inappropriate. Um, and when I decided I was going to make this video today, this is the outfit I was wearing for the day. Um, it's I'm in Minnesota. We are in the middle of a drought. It's in the 90s, humidity levels at 109,000 billion. I don't even know. Um, so it's, it's hot here. 
and like most of the country I think right now is just it's hot it's muggy anyways on top of that I work with epoxy so everybody knows that the room that you work with epoxy in is usually if it's 900 degrees outdoors it's a bajillion degrees warmer than that in your room that you do your your tumbler making and I thought to myself wow I should probably you know maybe I should change my shirt you know what no I'm not gonna do that I work in a very hot room like most of you ladies um, some of you ladies have uh, like she sheds that you work in some of you work in your garage some of you guys work outdoors it's hot just because one person decides that they want to be disgusting it's not going to alter the fact that I am going to n now feel as though I need to dress a certain way so this is what you get tank top I feel horrible for her because her work is it's just inspiring. She's a 3D um, tumbler maker. I'm, sh I'm sure most of you, if you're watching this video, you've you found her. She has a YouTube. She does tutorials. Um, she's just she's an amazing teacher, all around amazing person, and the fact that she even considered making something and putting it into a competition for something for a company that um, you know obviously has a pretty large social media pre presence you know everybody's making TikToks and YouTubes and they're using you know different lighting scenarios and things like that like just eh, not a fan can't believe somebody would do that uh, so I think for the next color I'm gonna grab amber by the glitter guy of course because I got a smoking deal so if by chance you're watching this video and you um, use archon mounts I would do some research on the company I would do some research on the um, VP XVP and make your own decision you know obviously make your own decision you've invested your money if you want to keep it if you want to purchase it if you want to steer away from it in this tumblr community um, we all kind of have to look out for each other um, just because somebody takes a cup and makes it that's like the biggest form of flattery, right? Always give credit where credit's due. You know, if I'm gonna make a cup that I saw somebody else make or somebody else posted a video on, I'm gonna try and give credit where credit's due. To my knowledge, nobody was um, using double-sided adhesive for tumblers before I posted the original video. Um, I posted it in, I'll show you, sorry. I posted the original video um, in some Facebook groups um, and I got a huge response right away. Um, I did start to see other people um, posting tutorials and things like that, which I think is great. Um, if somebody's come up with, you know, tips and tricks that are different than mine or, you know, maybe their method awesome but at the end of the day to my best knowledge nobody was using double-sided adhesive for the template cups they were using double-sided tape and taping the whole cup which works they were using Mod Podge and some still do and that is perfectly fine Like so many of you guys um, that do make tumblers, we a lot of us work full-time jobs and we're creating these in the after hours. 
late in the evenings um, with the heat. It's been kind of nice because it's almost too hot to enjoy Minnesota right now, which is crazy, but it's true. You have to wait until, almost until it's dark, and that's right about the time the skeeters come out. Now, these skeeters, and of course now my AC unit's going to crank into gear. My furnace is on the other side of my basement down here. Anyways, these skeeters in Minnesota... <laughs> They love me, like love me. I step outside and they're like, she's here, bite her. And I don't get it because I don't, um, you know, I don't wear perfumes and any of that stuff. I did watch a video and uh, in the video it kind of talked about like what your blood type is and certain things that are more attracted and apparently, you know, I have that blood type that is like a feeding frenzy for skeeters. One, two, three. So right now I'm just kind of doing a quick little look-see over. I picked out um, six different colors thinking that would be good. I think it's going to be fine. here. I'm going to pull this guy because again I did not template this out so was not a hundred percent sure what I would want to do here. So I'm going to take that guy off. I'm going to go and find its friend on the opposite side of the cup. Take that guy off. See, the deal wasn't cut through for whatever reason. So just keep an eye when you pull. If you buy this template, um, and it very well could be that I just didn't um, do something correctly. But as of right now, this is the first template where I'm actually pulling up other pieces that I don't want. Okay, let's see here. So I'll use Stonehenge now. Uh oh, I'm at 28 minutes. I try to keep these a little bit shorter because you guys know I don't like editing. I'm not a huge editor of these videos and speed her upper. Anyways, I just wanted to say that I am so very, very proud of this crafting community um, kind of pulling together and addressing what happened with um, the Archon Mounts. It's women sticking together, it's creative folks sticking together. I shouldn't say just women, there's men that um, make tumblers too and they're actually pretty dang gorgeous. Um, but it's it's just all of us sticking together and supporting each other and supporting what's right and what's wrong. So that's Stonehenge. Like I said, this is just a classic, beautiful looking cup I thought. I loved the template.
and then as per usual I will probably just do um, some kind of acrylic or Mod Podge on the bottom and that will be um, I'll just paint my base I have started to trim the excess off the bottom of the templates before I lay them um, I'm sure if if you've watched several of my videos I'll, I used to just leave it and like push it around um, it works fine but After a while, I was just like, you know what? I'm already in here. I'm already trimming. Might as well. pretty hard on trying to get my following up so I can do lives that way I can kind of answer questions in the moment as I'm making tumblers with you guys um, I know you can do it in some groups on Facebook some will allow it um, some do not technically only have two colors left so I think I'm gonna end up having to go back in and, and do something at some point I don't 100% know what that's going to be but I think here I want to do like a gold So this video is probably going to, by the time I'm done, it's probably going to be a little bit lengthy, but I want you guys to remember too, I'm doing two cups. So in, in what at the end of this will probably be close to um, an hour. And considering some of these template cups, you know, if depending on how you do it, you could be sitting there for a much longer time frame. Okay, cheetah. You ever open the dump side of your glitter and you're like, yeah, we don't want that. We get enough glitter everywhere around here. I don't need to be stirring the pot. And when you get into these fall colors, sometimes it's a little bit hard to know, like, well, what's actually light to dark? What's dark to light? Um, so, I'm just eyeballing the shades, burnishing my stuff in.
I didn't show wrapping this cut because I just posted a video on uh, another video on wrapping stainless steel. Um, so I didn't think that just for the time frame of the video that it was 100% necessary. But I do, um, I do use electrical tape um, to hold down the template. I get everything lined up, and then once I have it lined up, I pull the tape. So if you are curious, and this is maybe the first video you're ever watching, go back and watch um, even the video I just posted with the ombre. That's what's spinning over there. Two, two of them are spinning. I haven't personally found a single downfall in using double-sided adhesive myself. Um, some um, fellow crafters have used it and have thought that the coverage isn't as nice. Um, there's absolutely no reason why as you're doing this, if you feel like you want to pause in between colors and do secondaries, you it's it basically is no different than if you were um, just using your template and um, vinyl to pull this, these areas. So if you think you're not getting enough coverage, for sure, use the Mod Podge and add that extra layer. When you're using light colors, make sure you use a white base, otherwise you will not see your really light colors. I've also mentioned in the past that um, if this is your first time wrapping a cup, um, do it on a stainless steel base first. Don't do it on a primed cup right away. If you wrap it wrong, pulling this adhesive up is a task to say the least. All right, so for my final color, I'm going to be using Mercoise, and um, I very well might come back in with um, one more color just for this V. Then have to decide which color it should be. That will be the big one. The sound of my turner is driving you guys crazy yet. Driving me nuts. Can't burnish quick enough. So, up at the tip top, I have two spots that I will need to kind of look at this cup and I think just at a glance I kind of want to do Stonehenge up at the top even though I have it right there I 
I do prefer my just flat, straight um, Cricut dealy. One of these days I'll have to learn like if there's like official names for some of these tools that Cricut makes, then I'll sound super official. We are almost done, you guys, with two cups. Call it 20 minutes a cup, minus my chit-chatting. It'd be kind of fun to do like a template challenge all the different methods. Double-sided tape, double-sided adhesive, Mod Podge. Some people use like, when you do the pencils, some people use just the acrylics. Start to finish from print to, print to wrap. Do a coverage comparison and see who should be the winner. All right, so I only have those two little top pieces. Like I said, I think I'm gonna use Stonehenge up there. Um, had I kind of laid this out, I probably would have realized right away that I was going to need um, to use that color in a multiple spots, but I didn't lay it out. There you have the one cup. Let's get my stone hinge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also, um, if you don't already follow the Creative Siren, jump on her page, follow her, um, whether that be on TikTok or on YouTube. She's just, she's an amazing, amazing person, um, artist. So now I'm gonna go through. double-sided adhesive and completely glittered two cups approximately taking 20 minutes each I'll seal these with triple thick do the bottom I'll do the bottom then seal them with triple thick and they will be ready to go on the turner Thanks for watching, you guys.